Where we got money? Yeah. Where so yeah, this piece right here is called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Another agile prop piece back in 2017 is when I completed this. And this piece right here is all about shifting power dynamics. You have Aunt Jemima, a little off center, more so to the left. And she has David Rockefeller in the chokehold. This, um, I can't remember exactly what his family owns. Maybe like an oil tycoon or something. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot of America. Yeah. 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 You feel me? <laughs> and so what I wanted to do is to shift these power dynamics where she's looked at lesser than. Because one, she's a black woman. And then two, in the, the roles that she's portrayed in as being a domestic you know what I'm saying? And, you know, ultimately serving white people. I wanted her to have the upper hand against David Rockefeller as, you know, he's assumed as being better because he has uh, more acquired wealth and more mm -hmm. American money. And the plot to this story is one that David Rockefeller has uh, just been introduced to Aunt Jemima by Aunt Jemima's daughter. You know, the daughter brought her um, her her boyfriend and, and now husband-to-be yeah. home to meet Aunt Jemima. And the way that it played out is that Aunt Jemima became really enraged mm -hmm. after learning how many heart surgeries that David Rockefeller has allegedly had, you know, upwards of eight or nine. And her having had a son who passed away because... He, he couldn't make a donor's list, mm. became really, really enraged. And this is the scene that we're seeing after that conversation had unfolded, where she puts him in the headlock. There's a text bubble at the bottom, right underneath David Rockefeller that says, this transplant was the last, I promise. Mama, no! And then Aunt Jemima is smiling, just very calm with a, a skillet in her right hand. And she's saying, yes, mama knows. Yeah. I love how you use, um, I love how you tie in figures like Aunt Jemima and Rockefeller to represent a symbolism to mm -hmm. show both sides and what that means, right? We're not taking the individual, mm -hmm. but you're basically representing different things right. and combating them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really the power of art. Yeah. And, and being able to use like you said, a symbol, because a symbol embodies so many different things. Yeah. Whether the people who are, are tethered to it by them either using that product, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or the people or the demographic that may feel as though, oh, I'm, I, I want to be more than rich. I want to be Rockefeller wealthy. Yeah. You yeah, yeah. So yeah. There's, there's a context that comes with these symbols. I, I agree wholeheartedly, man. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yes. Oh, great.